Hi guys, some of you asked questions about how we got on wild camping in Stonehenge having seen our video and I thought I'd just talk that through a little bit. Okay, so right at the beginning of the video, you'll see Jen asking about our Google, um, which is just here. Um, so Google Home Mini, um, plugged straight in with a, um, uh, a little unit to hold it onto the wall. Now, that's plugged in via um, full mains power, and obviously when you're while camping and you're not, mains uh, you're not plugged into mains power, and everything that is working requires 230 volts is not going to work. So things like um, our Google Home Mini, the microwave, and anything that you've got plugged into these mains power slots. The things that do work are anything that's plugged into the 12 volts. So this is our Netgear router, which um, we've got a video about installation of our Wi-Fi in our motorhome. This was powered fine because it was plugged in to the 12 volts. Um, so any 12 volt outputs, you are home and dry. The only other big consideration that we had was water, um, both fresh water in, grey waste out, and of course the toilet. So we are a family of four, two young kids. Um, we do use probably quite a bit of water. Um, so I filled the van up with um, fresh water, 100 litres before we set off, made sure that the grey waste was empty. And we were fine for the two days that we were there. We didn't shower whilst we were there bit of an admission but um, we didn't um, so we showered before we left and showered when we got back um, so that was fine we didn't generate too much grey water we probably could have had a couple of showers to be perfectly honest there's good capacity um, but yeah we just thought easier not to but the main thing for us was the toilet um, the toilet capacity for us we only last probably a day and a half um, before we need to empty the toilet and um, being there for um, well two nights, two whole days, um, we were we were definitely going to have an issue. So what we did was we bought an additional toilet cassette. Um, um, so we bought an additional toilet cassette, and then we stored that once we were travelling along in a plastic perspex um, plastic perspex box, just to keep. Um, keep things clean. So it was in the back of the van um, in our U-shaped lounge. Inside that, uh, inside the plastic box, and obviously it was empty on the way out. But on the way back, um, we did have to use the second cartridge. We swapped it over, and then that second cartridge went into that box. Overnight, it was just in a plastic bag outside on the on the verge. Um, and then we popped it in that plastic box to bring it home and we emptied it at home. So that was the biggest thing for us was the toilet. Um, it did, as a result, cost us you know, an extra £100 to get, that, um, to get that extra cassette. But it just gave us not only peace of mind, but it gives us a little bit more freedom. We're hoping at some point to be able to go to France and use their airs. And that will just give us a little bit of extra um, capacity for, for the toilet. So that was it really. Um, everything else we got on really well with, um, no no issues. Um, as you saw in the video, uh, Stonehenge, we still watched, um, we still managed to watch Eurovision on the projector. Um, got a video about in the that projector as well. Take a look at that. Um, and that's because everything was either powered from battery packs or from 12 volts for that. So hopefully that was useful. If you've got any specific questions um, about our experiences um, while camping, we have only done it once. Um, then um, just pop them in the message below. And as I said earlier, please help the channel and subscribe and like. Thanks very much. See you soon.